You're watching Drakewing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drakewing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class. Picking back up where we left off last time. We're still continuing Lars' path. The game is getting a few new updates in a bit for some new uh, character paths. That's pretty cool. This game definitely has plenty of content to get through, so we're gonna just go ahead and pick up right where we left off. Alright guys, sit back and enjoy. Oh, yeah, Operation Getting to Know Lars. Start. Alright, couldn't have said it better myself. Alarm chain, you're up. Alright, let's go. You sure are looking excited. Eh? His voice surprised you and you quickly got up from the couch. When did you finish? Not too long ago. Have you decided where you want to go? Well, I know we're going to the city, but... I don't have the slightest idea of what's there and what's not. I asked my friend Mark, at least I planned to, but he didn't answer my call. Hmm. I'll show you around then. Your phone started ringing after you decided to go to the city with Lars. Both of you glanced at it, and the backlit screen showed Mark's name. It's Mark. You're not going to answer that? Eh, sure. Just a moment. You weren't sure why you were hesitant, but you grabbed your phone anyway. Henry here. Oh! Oh, hey, sorry, I was sleeping. What's up? Uh, I was gonna ask what about to ask about what to do in the city. Where are you right now? Still at home. Well, if you'd like, I can go with you. It's all right, I'm going with my friend. Ah, the one who's staying with you, isn't it? Yeah, how did you know? As far as I know, you don't have that many people whom you call friend. Hey! Anyway, my offer stands. If you want to, I'll be at the arcade 30 minutes from now. All right, thanks, Mark. Don't mention it. What did your friend say? He said he could show me around, and if I want, and if I want to see him, he's at the arcade. All right. Well, I think it's settled. Ready whenever you are. I have everything I need with me. I'm ready to go. We need to make sure we're home before noon. Oh yeah, Mr. Parker will be here by then. Glad you remember. Let's head out. Let's roll out. If you want to go to the city, head over to Bublix. Ah, Bublix. I'll keep that in mind. But why Bublix? It's the nearest bus stop in the area. Hmm. There's one around the forest area, but no one really goes there. Oh, okay. Where'd you go? I don't really see. Can't really go anywhere else, so whatever. Hmm. Publix. Publix. So we just wait until the bus comes? Yeah. While waiting for the bus, both of you decided to go for a drink. There was a building next to Publix that was uh, that said quality. Quality. Well, it's not like it literally said quality, it, but there was a big board of some sort on top of the building. You saw Lars rubbing his chin with an amused face. He must be enjoying the pun. Ignoring Lars for the moment, you saw that there were three sets of outdoor patios and no indoor drinking area. It looked like they were settled in here recently, yet didn't look like a pop-up store. You approached the person behind the counter to place your order, and he greeted you with a cringeworthy catchphrase. W where do you get your quality tea? Add quality! That wasn't as great a catchphrase as I thought it'd be. Hey, don't say it out loud! And it was crystal clear that the poor guy wasn't too eager about that catchphrase either. Anyway, how can I help you? Uh... The brain suddenly drew a blank and you couldn't think of anything to order. Kiddo, you want recommendations? I suggest one. Thank goodness he understood you. He showed you one of their special drinks. It was uh, called bubble tea. Oh god, I love me some bubble tea. Isn't that just normal tea with tapioca balls? Yes, it's fucking delicious! Hmm, I suppose. Haven't tried the tea myself. Anyway, people are usually people here usually get this one. Is he a foreigner? He speaks a little bit weird. Oh, I got it right! <laughs> well, I'll get that one. How about you, Lars? I'll get the bubble tea. I think they call it boba tea. A guy who just passed by said something to the cashier. You should learn from that guy, Brock. He pronounced it perfectly. He didn't say anything back to that guy, but you could hear that he mumbled something like, oh, but they sound the same. It wasn't too clear, but you were sure that was it. I swear to God, that guy's getting on my. I swear to God, that guy's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. It's all right. I understand. I'd do the same if I were you. Just shake it off, and you'll do fine. <laughs> Been doing that. And here I thought I was being useful. You're a kid. You're a guy. You're a kind guy, kid. It's not often I meet someone like you. Oh please, you're making me blush. Hey, it's that's Lars. Hey, that's Lars's. Uh, that's Lars's job. <laughs> I'd like to start a chat with you some more. We have to take your order first. 
Speaking of which, what will it be? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> yeah. One moment, then. He looked at you for a second before he wrote your order. What's your name, kid? Huh? M m my, my name? Heh, <laughs> it's for your order. Oh, well... Oh. All right, one for Lars, and... Just Lars is fine. All righty, then. Hmm? Something feels weird. What's up with Lars? Ah, young people nowadays. He walked into the building to place your orders before going back to the counter. Feel free to sit anywhere while you prepare your drill your orders. Don't mind if we do. Lars lightly pulled your hand, and you had no choice but to walk with him. You wanted to ask him right away, but you decided to wait until you were far enough from Brock. Hey, what gives? What do you mean? You're acting strange. Something wrong? He answered. He answered you, but he wasn't looking at you. No, everything is fine. I just didn't like him. Don't tell me. He's upset that I talked to Brock more than him. If he was, that's not right. I could talk to whoever I want, and why would that matter to him anyway? Your head was so flooded with a series of what-if questions, and most of them were arguably nonsensical. Sometime later, Brock came with your drinks. Both of you finished the drinks as fast as you could because Lars told you that no food and drinks were allowed in the bus. Once you were done, you headed to the bus stop by Publix once again. However, it didn't arrive immediately. You had to wait for another ten minutes before the bus stopped by Publix. Finally, everyone got off the bus and everyone else got, got on before you, making you and Lars the last people to get on the bus. Ha! If I knew they wouldn't be here earlier than now, I would have... Uh, I wouldn't have shoved everything in a go. I wanted to savor the tapioca balls some more. <laughs> yeah, I do. That, I do. I, I too also like balls. I <laughs> was in the past, but at the moment you had another problem. Well, not really a problem, but a minor inconvenience. Every seat was taken and you were surrounded by others. Eventually the doors closed and the bus started to accelerate. You didn't want to admit it, but this was your first time riding a crowded bus. Usually your parents would take you anywhere or they'd ask you to get a taxi or something. You looked at Lars. He was unfazed as if it were a normal situation, which it was, but not for you, apparently. He noticed that you weren't holding any, any, holding any handholds. He tapped your back, signaling you to take his. Ah, that's fine, I'll just keep my block! There was a sharp turn and you lost your footing. Luckily, you didn't nosedive onto the floor or do something embarrassing. At least, you didn't think so. But reality often messes with us. You plummeted into Lara's chest and your face was literally sinking between his massive pecs. You swiftly and quietly moved your head away before everyone else noticed it. So sorry about that. But it was an undeniably soft and comfortable cushion for your fall, you thought. You definitely wouldn't mind crashing into his chest again. Heck, if you could, you'd make an excuse to make it happen. Weird thoughts, go away! I told you to hold it. I'll be fine. He had no choice but to do as he said, and everything felt much steadier. And about Lars? Well, of course he'd be fine, because he put both of his paws on your shoulders, holding you tightly. You feel him squeezing your shoulder occasionally. What was that for? Neither of you said anything, and you were too embarrassed anyway. He felt like he'd find out that your face was getting hot if he saw your face, so you kept your hand, so you kept your head down the whole ride. That was an interesting experience for you. Hmm. Oh, man. Is this, this is New York City, isn't it? Instead of LG, it's EG. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Yep, this looks, like, this, this looks like New York City. I think I've been in this spot, too. Oh, man. What a place. Oh, man. Uh, what a good, a good place. A good, a good place to get some good street side food, too. Man, that, the street vendors, they got some great food. I uh, just don't question where it comes from. Like, juicy, delicious hot dogs. My personal favorite, when we were on our way to the, uh... What was it? Uh, something Rock Cafe. I forget the name of that Rock Cafe. But, um... We, we, we stopped at a street vendor. Oh, one second, let me save right here. We'd stopped at a street vendor, and they were selling, like, these delicious little fried... Little, like, fried treats deep fried treats and I got uh, deep fried Oreos and my god let me tell you I felt like I was a fat fuck after that like oh my god all that grease and fat and sugar and mmm oh it was so good oh they gave me seven of them and I ate all seven of them oh my god anyway guys let's continue sorry about that getting lost down memory lane Eventually, what felt like eternity finally ended, and you arrived at the city with Lars. You looked around curiously. Everything felt and looked so new. I wonder where we should start. Right, I wonder if there's a shopping mall nearby. Oh, a shopping mall? He pointed his finger directly at you, or rather behind you. You turned around and your eyes were greeted by one of the biggest shopping malls you'd ever seen. Although, frankly speaking, you hadn't seen a lot of shopping malls to begin with. Wow. 
That's like Bublix, but a, but a Tarantamax? But a Tarantamax version of Bublix. What is a Tarantamax? Oh, don't mind me, just a feature in a game. Well, there's Bublix inside, there's a Bublix inside this building. Whoa, really? Yeah, you wanna head in? Sure! You made sure that you had your wallet and everything else you needed with you. Once you were done with your possession check, you went into the shopping mall with Lars. Why do you want to go here, anyway? There was a reason for you to look around for a shopping mall, but Lars didn't need to know about it. Just want to look around, come on! Alright, alright. I brushed in, but I forgot this place is so big. Is something the matter? It seemed like Lars knew that something was up with you. He always asked you whenever you started to, whenever you started to think harder than usual. You did say you wanted to look around, so we could start here if you want. Uh, actually, uh, know where I can look for phones? What kind of phones? Cell phones. Ah, it's on the second floor. Follow me. I'm starting to believe that he lied to me about not being too familiar with the city. Here it is. What are you doing here? Looking for a new phone? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> sort of? It's not important. Let's go in. When you went in, you were greeted by the employees. They asked if you needed help, and you told them that you were just looking around first. There were a lot of new phones on display, and a lot of them piqued your interest, but that wasn't why you were here. Lars was standing in front of one of the displays, and it looked like he was appraising one of the VR goggles. Hey, Lars! What is it? Let's say if you were getting a new phone, what would you look for? Are you sure I'm the right guy to ask? <laughs> I don't know! Hmm. And look at the brand first. If it was from a popular and reliable manufacturer, I'll consider it. Then the price tags. I don't want to buy a phone that would cost me a lot. I don't really care about the features. As long as I can make calls, text people, and browse the internet, I'm fine. I see, I see. Okay, thanks. Do you know any good manufacturers? Hmm, the one you're using. That's not a bad one. There's also e-phones, but they're really expensive, e-phones, huh? <laughs> Why do you ask? I just wanted your opinion, that's all. You looked around some more while Lars wandered around the store. You were waiting for the right for the right time to execute your plan, and Lars made everything easier by going to the bathroom. What you, were, what you were trying to do was get a phone for Lars so you can contact him. Plus, a grown man without a phone or something to get in touch with other get in touch with others with. That didn't sound really fun. You asked your parents last night if it was okay to get Lars a new phone, and surprisingly, they didn't mind at all. You had a lot of money to spare anyway, so and they gave you too much spending money every month, and you usually didn't spend any, so it accumulated. Once you decided on which phone you wanted to give him, you called the staff so you could purchase it. Lars came back not too long after everything was done. He told him that you had enough of the shopping mall and wanted to go somewhere else. So, what's our next destination? I don't know. Do you have any suggestion? Hmm. What do you think about arcades? I like them. I don't go often. And I don't go often, though. They have a lot of arcades here. There's a popular one around here. Ah, okay. And Mark's at the arcade, I recall. I wonder if he's also there. Let's see. There's a lot of things to do here, but I don't know if you're up for it. I'm cool with everything. I'm not picky. <laughs> After all, I got what I wanted here, so I would go home if he wanted to. Well, at least you look like you're in a good mood. Did you work here before, Lars? Uh, yeah. I could show you where I used to work if you want. Oh, there's a gym in here, too. Come to think of it, I used to live around here back then. And Gilbert, too. Gilbert? Like, Coach Gil? So they really knew each other. Speaking of Gil, I wonder if he's with his basketball team right now. Maybe we could visit him later on my way home. But we'd have to be... But we'd have to be home before sunset, hmm? Hmm? V you decided where you want to go? Huh? Oh! Well... Where to go? Uh, oh, okay. Where to go, where to go, where to go, where to go? I'm gonna save this part right here because... Um, this could be different. Kate sounds fun. Okay. Mark told me he'd be at the arcade. Maybe we could go see him while, while we're here. Sure. It shouldn't be too far from here. That's good, we can just walk then. Yeah. You walked alongside Lars, heading towards the arcade. Do you really want to go to the arcade? Why, yeah, why do you ask? No reason, I just... Hmm? Never mind. What's up with him lately? <laughs> Lars is being jealous. Or he knows something that we don't. Here we are. Wow, this place is massive. This was one of the biggest arcades you'd ever seen, but let's not forget the fact that you didn't see a lot of arcades, so your judgment might have been a bit off. Well, I like this music. Now that I think of it, I never went in until today. Oh, really? Yeah, I stayed at home all the time after work. Huh, that's a little bit surprising. Is it? Yeah, I, I thought you enjoyed being outdoors more than indoors. He said the same thing, too. Did you say something? Uh, no. 
I wonder where Mark is. Why don't you ask him over the phone? The machines are pretty loud. I'm not sure if he can hear me or not. Fair enough. Try texting him then. Oh god, I love Ben and Jerry. Uh, not Ben and Jerry's. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, hey guys, what's that major arcade? Ben... Ben... Ah, oh god, hold up. Major arcade franchise. Major arcade franchise. Ben and... Ben... Arcade... Guys, what is the name of that arcade? Oh my god. I, I can't remember the name of it. Ugh. Not Ben and Jerry's. That's a fucking ice cream. Can't remember the name of that arcade. Ben something. is a, It's a really famous one. Anyway, fair enough. Try texting him then. Good idea. Actually, never mind. But why? There he is. You didn't need to find or call him because he found you. I knew it! No one would stare, stand here dumbfounded except you. Ah, just came here for a bit, Henry. Huh? Okay. Hmm? Is that the guy? Huh? What does that mean? Without asking for more details, you just said yes. Yeah, that's the guy. I didn't know you'd bring your boyfriend today. What? That's not my boyfriend! But you said that's the guy. That was a good example of why you shouldn't make assumptions. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I know he's the guy that's staying at your place. This guy always gets your eyes rolling. He walked towards Lars and started introducing himself. I'm Henry's best friend, so his friends are my friends. Hope we can get along. This is such good music. Name's Mark. What's yours? Lars. <laughs> Wait, since when am I his best friend? Mark leaned, leaned towards you a little bit and whispered something. You guys keep setting this up for me, I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay? I, I can't disappoint my audience. <laughs> I think your friend over here doesn't... <laughs> I think your friend over here doesn't like me. Huh? It wasn't clear if Mark was joking or not this time, but you saw him smirk a little bit. Let's see, why don't we play a game or two? I'm not good at games, though. It's okay, this one should be easy enough for both of you, come on! He grabbed your hands and you had no choice other than following him. Well, you could try, but you're pretty sure he'd drag you with him anyway. So yes, you had no other choice but to follow him. Wait, Mark! Here! Jeez, you didn't have to do that. I'm pretty sure you know what game this is. Uh, not at all. Hmm. Well, you should have at least seen those. Uh, I guess, but the buttons weren't diagonal. Yeah, you know how the game works at least. Uh, okay, I guess. Mark challenged you to play with the game with him. Even though you knew how the game works, you didn't have the slightest idea how to play it. Using the word challenge might have been an exaggeration. You couldn't even say no because you wouldn't take no for an answer. One second, guys. Okay, there we go. Grabbed it. Alrighty. He chose one of the easy he chose one of the easiest songs where he wouldn't have any problem with it. Yet you still had you still had a but you still had problems with it. Notes flashed so fast you had trouble keeping up with the notes and the steps were so confusing. Yep, yep, yep. He even went easy on you. And you lost. In a nutshell, he overkilled you. He got an A and you got an F. Talk about harsh. <laughs> Maybe I overestimated you. <laughs> D and B. Dave and Busters, that's what it's called. Okay, I was just looking for that. Yep, it's Dave and Busters. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I overestimated you. You big kitty. Who are you calling big kitty? Hit <laughs> you. Who else? You're a cat. You should have fast reflexes like me. Uh... Oh, that might be true. What? I challenge you. If you win, you can do whatever you want. However, if I win, I'll take Henry with me for the rest of the day. Wait, what? Deal. He walked toward the machine and started stepping on the buttons, trying to get the feel of it. I won't lose. Admire that, but you're gonna lose, kitty. Your ship is sinking before it has a chance to sail. What is he talking about? For some reason, you can feel Lars's burning passion to win this challenge. You didn't know he was easily provoked like that. Again, it wasn't a challenge because it was really unfair. Mark was a pro, and neither of you played it before. Also, for some reason, you ended up becoming a prize. What a weird day. It appeared the game was loading. Oh no. Oh no, this music! Once it finished loading, the usual ordeal started once again, both of them starting to move accordingly to the beat. Lars especially was doing so well. They moved so fast, it was almost hard to keep track of their movements. But wait! He wasn't getting even one combo. He was stepping on whatever he could. Mark, on the other hand, had a full combo so far. He was moving so beautifully, it felt hypnotizing. Before you knew it, you were surrounded by the other people looking at their performance. 
Yeah, I have a feeling I know who's gonna win. He'll give you an A for effort! Everything happened so fast, and before you know it, it ended. The only thing you knew was they were drenched in their own sweat. Mark's legs were moving as fast as it... as so fast it was almost inhuman. Well, technically he wasn't, but whatever. Anyway, in the end, Mark totally beat Lars. He got a double SS grade, and Lars only got a C grade. Ugh. Looks like Henry is going out with me. He pulled you close to him, and you could see Lars clenching his teeth. Lars was a time bomb, ready to explode any time soon. Figuratively speaking, of course. Just kidding, I don't plan to snatch him away from you. Plus, Henry here wants to hang out with his big kitty instead of me, right? Is this true? And I'm gonna save it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a rather entertaining. Ah, oh, shit, I saved over it. Uh, I can probably go back. I really, really want to see some of the other content they have for him today. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell until the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!